Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Pro Tips! My name is Kenneth and this week we're going to be talking about how to preheat your coffee roaster before you begin roasting. So how do you know when your roasting machine is sufficiently heated up? Now every roasting machine is different so you do have to work a little bit to figure out what is the ideal setting for your roasting machine and hopefully this guide will help you figure that out. Now let's call that state where the roasting machine is sufficiently heated up to be your ideal thermal setting. Now a good starting point for figuring out your ideal thermal setting is running a test batch through your roasting machine and at the end of the batch after you have released the coffee, you can measure six variables to identify the minimum thermal settings that you have to have before you begin roasting. The first variable is the negative pressure in the roasting machine which is usually measured in pascals followed by the ET and the BT which is the temperature measured by these two probes. Next we also have the current gas setting for the flame of the roaster followed by the delta, ET and BT which is the rate of rise of the ET and BT. How fast your temperatures are rising or decreasing. Now once you have these readings, then we can begin to figure out how to achieve our ideal thermal setting each and every time that we are going to start a new batch of roast. So for today's video, we'll use a hypothetical example. We're going to set the ideal thermal setting at 80 pascals, where the ET and BT is 200 and 210 degrees Celsius respectively. The gas setting is set at 50% and the delta ET and delta BT is set at 5 degrees Celsius per minute. Now to help you understand how to achieve your ideal thermal setting, let's run through two scenarios so that we can give you a better understanding. Now the first scenario, we have the airflow and the gas set to be the same and constant as the ideal thermal setting that we want. The temperature of our ET and BT measures at 200 and 210, that checks out with our ideal thermal settings. But the RR or the delta ET and BT are lower than what we want. In this case, it means that the thermal energy within the drum roaster is insufficient, hence the slower rate of heating up of the drum roaster, even though these two temperatures are the same. So in this case, we want to make sure that we can bring this up to the ideal thermal setting, which is five degrees Celsius per minute. In order to do this, we need to continue heating up the roaster until the thermal energy is high enough to hit our ideal thermal settings. Now let's go to scenario number two. After we continue heating up the roaster at this airflow and this gas setting, we might find that the ET and BT is higher than our ideal thermal setting and our delta ET and delta BT is still lower than over here. But you should take note that the higher the temperature is, generally the delta ET and BT will be lower because it's not possible for the thermal energy in the roaster to maintain high levels of RR when the temperatures are higher. It will gradually decrease as the temperature in the roaster goes up. So in this scenario, what we want to do is bring the ET and BT back down to 200 and 210 respectively and then check the RR for the ET and BT again to see if it goes up to 5 degrees Celsius per minute. Now there's two ways to do this. The first one is to open the door of the drum roaster which allows cold air to come in. I don't recommend this because opening the door of the drum introduces a lot of cold air and a lot of the heat escapes from the roaster. So your roasting machine might cool down very drastically and affect your heating up routine. But if your ideal thermal setting is already set at a very high negative pressure or a high airflow setting, this might be your only option because you won't be able to cool down the roaster sufficiently by increasing your airflow even more. Which brings me to our second solution, which is to increase the airflow and increase the negative pressure in the drum roaster, which helps to bring in more cold air into the roaster at a controlled rate and cool down the roaster. Once the temperature has gone slightly below your intended thermal settings, you can reset the airflow and the negative pressure back to your intended thermal settings, in this case 80 pascals, and let the temperature go back up to your intended thermal settings and you can then check your delta ET and BT again. If your delta ET and BT is now higher and has reached 
5 degrees Celsius per minute, which is your intended thermal settings, then you're good to start your roast. If you go past your ideal thermal settings and you find that your delta ET or BT is higher than intended, it means there's more heat energy in your roaster and you might want to turn off the gas just for a short while to bring it back down to your intended thermal settings. If you start a roast with too much heat energy in the roaster, it will roast quicker than your intended roast profile and likewise if you roast it with too little energy, your roast will probably progress at a much slower pace than your intended roast profile. This will inevitably lead to problems in consistency. Alright, that's the end of this week's pro tip. Congratulations on getting to the end of the video. Now if you enjoyed this pro tip and you found it useful, remember to click the subscribe button below, follow us on Instagram and Facebook so that you get notified every time we release more pro tips like this one. See you next week.